Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. It's me, Dr. V. Jay Kumar. I make lecture videos for the benefit of mechanical engineering students. If this is your first time, not yet subscribed yet, please press the subscribe button and also the notification bell icon so that to get notified all my forthcoming videos. In this video, we shall see the key differences between mass moment of inertia and polar moment of inertia. To begin with, let us do quick recap on the basic term inertia. As we all know, objects love to keep on doing what they are doing. Remember Newton's first law of motion. This natural tendency of objects to resist changes in their state of motion is known as inertia. In fact, it is the measure of capacity of a body to resist linear motion, to resist linear acceleration. In fact, mass is the measure of inertia. If mass is more, it is very difficult to accelerate the body. When mass is lesser, it is easier to accelerate the body. Now, let us move on to the second term, mass moment of inertia. F is equal to MA, the other variation of the formula is T is equal to I alpha. So when we have the resistance against the rotational motion, we can call the term as mass moment of inertia. So it is the measure of capacity of a solid body to resist angular acceleration, right? As you could see here, the flywheels, gear trains, and the gyroscopes that are being used in aeroplane, ships, automobiles, they all in fact use the concept of mass moment of inertia for their designs. Now we shall see the third term, area moment of inertia. Inertia and mass moment of inertia are the properties of the solid body. Whereas the area moment of inertia is the property of a plane lamina, of a section. In fact, area moment of inertia in simple terms it is the resistance against bending. So you might have seen various structures, beings, where they are made up of different sections. So when area, moment of inertia of those sections are higher, it means they are very stronger. They will offer high resistance against bending. This concept is very much useful in the design of beams and structures. Finally, let us try to understand clearly the meaning of polar moment of inertia. Polar moment of inertia is also the property of your area. You just consider the area A shown there. If we determine moment of inertia, which is nothing but a second moment of area about X and Y axis, they are known as rectangular moment of inertias or area moment of inertias. If we need to determine moment of inertia of the same area about the pole, about O, which is nothing but a, about Z axis, we call that answer as polar moment of inertia. So moment of inertia about a perpendicular axis, perpendicular to the area of cross-section is known as polar moment of inertia. Now let us understand the physical significance of the polar moment of inertia. Let us consider a rubber eraser as an object. When you apply a external torque over it, it will undergo twisting, it will undergo torsional deformation. During the process, there will be some internal stresses created which are known as torsional shear stresses. Naturally, the section will offer resistance against this torsional deformation. The resistance against twisting is known as polar moment of inertia. Now, instead of the rubber eraser, let us take a shaft which transmits the power. When power is transmitted, obviously, there will be some external torque acting on it. 
when the external torque is acting on your shaft it will undergo twisting as you could see uh, section b which undergoes angle of twist from b to b dash so that angle of twist is dependent on polar moment of inertia when polar moment of inertia is more the angle of twist will be lesser it means the shaft is more rigid when shaft is more rigid it will enable one to transmit more power let us compare hollow shaft with solid shaft to find which is better to take more torsional load both the shafts are made up of same material having same length and weight it is proved that hollow shaft is having higher polar moment of inertia than that of the solid shaft that is the reason why hollow shaft is a better option for power transmission than that of the solid shaft let us summarize the concept of polar moment of inertia polar moment of inertia is the measure of resistance of a section against twisting deformation in simple term it is a resistance against twisting this concept will be highly useful in the design of shafts gears couplings where the torsional deformation will be involved and also they are used in the design of strength of welded joints riveted joints design of springs and so on finally the key differences between polar moment of inertia and mass moment of inertia are summarized for your reference and better understanding as you could see polar moment of inertia is the resistance against twisting whereas mass moment of inertia is resistance against rotation so you could find their applications as well what this video helped you to understand clearly those very important terms if so like this video share it to your friends subscribe the channel and hit the notification bell icon thanks for watching let me catch you in the next video bye take care